Well, no, well, the church pretty much said I'm a pastor. How many of you ever touch out with Mormons? Do you want? Do you want? You want me to give you step by step on how to do this? Yes. 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 Please. <laughs> they'll be coming up and they'll be carrying a book in their hands. You know what book they'll be carrying? No, the Bible. They don't. The Bible. They come up with the Bible. Okay. Question one. And this this is some good review. <laughs> Is the Bible inspired? We talked about this in Divine Revelation. What do I mean by inspired? Are we asking them this or are they asking this? You're asking this. Okay. But I'm asking you. <laughs> is the Bible inspired? Yes. That book you have? Yes. yes. What does it mean inspired? It's written by the word. It's God's inspired word. God is the author, right? Yes. Do you believe the Bible has all the correct books? Yes. Oh, ask right. that. Are all the correct books in the Bible? Yes. Yeah. Meaning, are the books in the Bible God's inspired word? Yeah. Their Bible or our Bible? They use the King James. Yeah. They use the King James Bible. Okay. Okay. So, so far, so good. Correct books, they just don't have all of them. By the way, how many books are there in the Catholic Bible? Seven. How many books do? Protestants have in their Bible. 66. See, this is a good review. Are the correct books in the Bible? Of course. Yes. Of course. Now, you come to the, the, the premise. Your faith believes in a great apostasy. Great apostasy. Meaning, apostasy. The authority. The truth was lost from the church. And they will readily admit the Catholic Church was the original church. They will admit this. And they will admit the Catholic Church originally had authority. But they will consent there's a great apostasy where the authority was lost. Completely gone. The gates of hell overtook the church. Okay? When did that happen? There you go. Can't Ask happen. them, when did this occur? Okay, we're getting to your question, Liz. When did it occur? Well, Give me some proof. Okay. But they say they, it's one of the last apostles. Though. Okay. And then what you want to do, ask what the date. When did this apostasy occur? And you're going to get a range of answers. You're going to go probably, they'll say the last apostle to, when did the last apostle die, by the way? About 100. About 100. So they'll say approximately 100 to 200 A.D. Okay? Because they believe the authority was lost. And now. So, what authority do they have? I, I will. Hold on, we're going to. Hang on. Then you ask them, how is the Bible canonized? When I say canonized, what do I mean? Not shot out in a bazooka. What does it mean? <laughs> How it was became official. When it was compiled, put together. Because when Jesus walked the earth, did he have a Bible? No. no. Uh, uh. Oh, the Old he had the Old Testament, but did he have the New Testament? No. 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 Okay. So, there was an Old Testament, but there was no New Testament. So when we mean canonized, the Bible canonized, the correct books were selected to become part of the New Testament. When did that happen? Okay, approximately 400 A.D. Who did it? Catholic the, Church. the Catholic Church. Okay. Do you see what we just did? You just shot their foot. <laughs> right. So, yeah, and, and, and you take a step further. When they say there's a great apostasy, they aren't going to tell you this. But what the Mormon Church believes, the Catholic Church <coughs> is the spawn of Satan, and Satan is the head of the Catholic Church. Yeah, they what? formally teach this. They won't tell you to their face. You must be. The oh no, no, it's it's true. It's in the Book of Mormon. It's true. It's in the Book of Mormon. Satan. Just the Catholic Church is led by Satan. This is true, okay? Well, they're saying... Okay. Okay. So, so when the apostasy occurred, 
approximately 1 to 200 AD, the church was led by Satan. Okay? But the, but the Bible was canonized in 400 AD. How many years is that after the so-called apostasy? apostasy? About two to three hundred years after this apostasy, the Satan-led church canonized the Bible that they claim are inspired and has the correct books. When you say that statement, their mouths are going to drop and they're going to leave. And they don't have no... They, they never come to your house again. Our block, Amen. they don't have our block anymore. You are we, Satan. Satan. We, we have, never yeah, we have him. <laughs> you see what we just did? Do they use all the books of the Bible that we do? No, they have 60. Well, they, use so they use the Protestant books. Our Bible, Bible has 73 matter. books. Theirs has 66. Okay. Those they 63 use the King, King James Version. Okay. okay. There's still several that weren't in existence until the 200 and 300 years. <laughs> but do you see by knowing our faith and knowing historic facts, this is called logic. Has anyone ever taken logic in school? Oh, yeah. There are what, yeah, this and that, therefore this. When you have certain known truths, you can use theorems and in, in, in logic to come up with infallible truths. And this totally blows apart their your theory here. But this is what I want to try to get at. <coughs> See, our Mormon friends claim there's a great apostasy. Our Jehovah Witness friends claim there's a great apostasy. And a lot of our Protestant friends claim there's an apostasy. But the point is, can there be an apostasy? A total falling away from the church. A total loss of authority when Jesus specifically says, I will never abandon my church. Can we use this same argument with Jehovah Witnesses? Yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she is asking when the apostasy occurred. Ask them when the apostasy occurred. That's the key. Because ultimately, it's historic fact that the Catholic Church gave us the Bible. So if you believe it's apostate, then why are you falling? It's irrational. Okay. How did I get on this? Maybe using that Bible because... Because they say to the Church of the Latter Day Saints, mm -hmm. of Jesus Christ of the Latter Day Saints, maybe they're only using that Bible to make it more well, presentable. Christian. No, well, they do believe and then they introduce they do believe the Book the of Mormon. Yeah, they what? believe in the Bible, but it's only one of the four books mm -hmm. that they have. Mm -hmm. They have four books that they consider inspired. Mm -hmm. They have three other books that they, they don't believe in the Trinity. They claim they believe in the Trinity, but they don't believe the same things as we do. And just like the tax exemption status. Well I didn't think they believed in Christ. Yes. They believe in Christ. Yeah, you, you ask them. Yeah, they believe in God, they believe in Jesus, and they believe in the Holy Spirit. Yeah. But they don't uh, they don't believe the same things as we do about God. God. But they don't think that he is three in one. Right. No. right. right. So. Which puts them about in the they, same they believe they as them the, themselves the can be like a Jesus eventually on the They believe they're gonna be God's and have their own planet. <laughs> Each and every one of them. Yeah. So apostasy. And Jesus promised that he'll never abandon the church. And this is what Vatican II is saying here. It's bringing out this point again. That God cannot abandon his church. Because God established it. Promised he'd maintain it. Sent the Holy Spirit to empower it, keep it holy. And how can the church fall apart? Remember, going back to our premise. The church is both... Divine and human. This is the part that's always going to screw up. This is the in history. This is the part that's going to cause problems, and it has. But since this part is always the two shall become one part of it, this is the part that will never allow this part to mess it up. And that's what we got to remember about the church.